Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I'm going to let you hear something, and then I'm going to come back with the commentary. And I'm sort of like almost speechless, but then when I hear stuff like this, it's kind of like, oh, I'm going to be able to put my words together. But this is just a, a, a ongoing trend that you've been seeing. And this is why, at the end of the day, People are not getting exposed. They're exposing themselves. But I'm going to let you guys hear this. So check it out. He wasn't my type at all. My type was actually Paul Walker recipes. What more? <laughs> he wasn't my type at all. And my type is not white. I'm just saying I was more interested in Paul Walker recipes. And other people that were in the Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, that was Tyrese Gibson's uh, so-called should be ex-girlfriend, but current girlfriend that he started dating back in 2021. Now, in case you guys didn't understand what she was talking about. Now, I'm going to break some stuff down how disrespectful she is and this is just an ongoing trend that you see more and more with our women blatantly disrespecting us and then as usual we're just supposed to take it and we're not supposed to say anything um some people gonna probably come over, oh it was a skit so you need to relax first of all don't come on here telling me what to do on my outlet first of all if that was a skit it wasn't funny and I wouldn't do no skit where somebody blatantly disrespect me. This woman sat up there and said that she actually thought that Paul Walker was cuter. She told that to the dude right to his face. And then when he was trying to speak, she was trying to cover up his, his mouth. That's disrespectful. And then saying that she thought he was old. Okay, well, why are you with him? Now, some people will say it might have been a skit because that's always the go to move. People will say everything is a skit and, and everything ain't a skit. So stop the cap. I wouldn't even play no games like that. So she out of line on so many levels. And then for her to say that he he was old. Well, first of all, Paul Walker was five years older than Tyrese Gibson. Paul Walker was born in 1973. Tyrese was born in 1978. So how could she sit up there and say he was old, but the dude that she said she really had eyes for was older than Tyrese Gibson. So that don't make no kind of sense. But this is the stuff that, you know, us brothers be talking about with women in our community. And then you have women that try to justify this type of behavior. Just like Sierra making songs to all the, all the independent women that don't need a man. But she married. It come a time where brothers just going to have to start standing up for themselves. I would have told her, especially if she living with me, I would have said, well, since I'm so old, go pack your stuff. And get out my old house. I would have got rid of her immediately. You don't even play no games like that. And see that's the problem. What I'm saying. With black men. 
everybody feel like they have the free range to say and do whatever they want to us. They try to make us feel guilty about defending ourselves. Oh, who talks to a black woman that way? Well, what type of black woman would talk to a black man that way? And this is what I'm saying about black women always constantly trying to play the victim. Trying to make it look like they're the only ones that's getting dead dirty and nobody respects them. But here it is, a black woman blatantly disrespecting her black man on social media. And then this makes Tyrese Gibson look weak. Because if that was me, that would have went bad real quick. I would have said, if I'm so old, you can bounce. And then due to the fact that she tried to tell him to be quiet and tell him to relax. And that's what they always try to do. They try to make it look like, it, like we're out of line for basically asking somebody not to disrespect us. Oh, you guys are too emotional. You're being sensitive and all that kind of stuff. This is just complete crap. And then they're wondering why passport bros exist. Now, listen, as I said before, I want black couples to be together. I want black men to be with black women. But at the end of the day, I don't really see this in other communities. She did a stream with him and basically saying that she wanted his homeboy more than she wanted him. Can you imagine if that was the other way around? Can you imagine if a dude said, hey, I actually wanted your homegirl, but I had to settle for you. You would hear black women crying about and whining about, oh, that was disrespectful. But these are the same. But I, I, I promise you, a lot of black women ain't going to call her out. But the black women ain't going to call her out and try to give her a pass for her disrespectful behavior. These are the same women that had issues with Kevin Samuels for holding them accountable. And calling them out on their disrespect towards black men. But then they ain't going to call this 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 woman out. And I'm trying to use the term uh, woman. And I because <laughs> I really want to use another terminology for her to sit up there and say something like that. Just what a horrible. I mean, what a horrible woman. Even if this is skit, I wouldn't even do a skit like that. Because people are watching this and this is an ongoing going pattern that you see. This is this is an ongoing plot. By trying to, you know, you, you know, basically emasculate and feminize black men. Real talk. I don't see hardly no other women from other communities doing this to their men, but I see this in our community and this is a serious problem. This is a serious problem. And don't tell me that I'm overreacting. I'm seeing this too much. Like I said, let, let Tyrese Gibson has said something like that. If it was the other way around, let him have said, Oh, I, um, like, let's just say, he wanted a, a, a white celebrity over her that she was cool with. Oh, here we go. You will see everybody and their mama make a video. Here we go again with black men not wanting black women, desiring white women. But yes, yeah, she says that she had desires and eyes for a white man. But it's all but but that's OK. That's OK. Like I said, man, I, I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm calling this BS out. I'm not biting my tongue. I ain't worried about none of you damn black women being mad about me calling this BS out. Because if you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you back. And if you OK with her disrespecting her man like that, that just shows me what type of person you are. That's real talk. You just don't say stuff like that. You don't even play them kind of game. Like I said, everything ain't meant to be a joke and everything ain't meant to be funny. So like I said, she sounded stupid by saying she wanted uh, Paul Walker and he was cuter and, and he seemed and he was a 
seemed like he was too old for her. But like I said, Paul Walker was older than, and rest in peace to Paul Walker. Paul Walker was older than Tyrese Gibson by five years. So what is this lady talking about? But this is, he, see, see what I mean? And this is what a lot of us be talking about. Y'all love to holler. Some of y'all black women love to holler about how people disrespect y'all and nobody protects y'all. And no, you you know, everybody disrespects y'all. Well, look at this. What is this? What is this? You kidding me? But then these are the same women that demand and put us down. If we date date women outside of our race. But if they do it, what they tell us to mind our own business. Leave, leave them alone. Why are we worried about who they dealing with? Man, I'm out.